What in the world's going on here? Some sort of mythological beast of the river's deep, some may think. Though not quite. While they may have descended from an absolute unit of an ancestor once upon a time, and many once thought of them to be mermaids, I'm actually referring to one of the most vibed out and chill sausages with fins you'll ever meet. Give a big warm hello to the manatee, otherwise known as sea cows. Now, I'm not sure about others, but I've actually been exposed to very little in the line of media coverage on these gentle grass razors throughout my life. Frankly, my knowledge on them was jump-started through Barbara Manatee. Silly songs with Larry from VeggieTales? Freaking love that song. Anyways, I managed to see them too went in Florida once, and my heart goes out to these chonkers. First, they're misjudged to be some sort of mythological creature like mermaids by sailors, then haunted by aborigines and settlers alike, and then the poor thing gets harmed by the propellers of sea craft. But like Minecraft villagers, they kind of just took it, and while it's sad and unfortunate, they've earned a reputation for being some of the most docile creatures known to man. They're highly unusual, in both the fascinating sense that they have a unique long and diaphragm shape to change their buoyancy in the water, to more goofy aspects like that they breastfeed from their armpits and, uh, fart in order to sink and rest on the Riverbed. You'd think they'd just take a deep breath out, but I guess it doubles an effective excuse to release toxic gases. They also don't have blubber, unlike other sea mammals. So all that chunk you see is literally just chalked up to their skeletal and muscular structure. Their eyesight is also rather poor due to primarily living in murkier waters, and rely on hairs on their body to feel their way around their respective environments. So they can be quite easy to startle, hence the reaction in the water scene from before. I mean, I get it. I get a little spooked when something brushes against my fur when I don't expect it either. Fortunately, there's a lot of attention, love, and respect granted to these oversized teddy bears more than ever, with preservation societies accommodating largely for them and succeeding in eliminating their once-endangered status. And wait, uh, excuse me for a moment while I see.